These are two incredibly powerful American cars. The Tesla Model S P85D and the Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Both of these vehicles hover around 700 horsepower and you might have seen them in a drag race before. But the feeling when you're inside these cars when they accelerate is completely different. And we're gonna jump into the science behind it. Now we're not gonna take these cars to a drag strip. We at Consumer Reports have the luxury of having a 327 acre test facility where we do instrumented tests on these vehicles. Today we're gonna to be dealing with two of those instruments. One that will measure acceleration, the other one G-forces. Let's go check it out. All right, Gene, so you're installing the G-meter? That's right, I'm strapping it into the back seat right now. Let's take a look at it. This is a crossbow uh, unit. It's a fiber optic gyro, a fancy word for an accelerometer, okay? It measures G-force. People ask, well, what is G-force? It's really, think of it, the sensation that you get with being pushed back into the seat back of a car when you're accelerating hard, or when you hit the brakes and you're pulled out of the seat. That's the G-force. That's what we're attempting to measure with this car right now. All right, Joe, you're setting up the other piece of equipment. Tell us what you're doing. Yeah, I just put on the uh, GPS antenna for the V-Box data acquisition system. That's what we use for acceleration testing and that's what's gonna get us our times today. All right, so how accurate is this? Is using GPS to figure out exactly where you are? We're not using timing lights, we're not using stopwatches no, not at here. All. This is as accurate as two centimeters, actually, which is a pretty big deal. All right, Joe, you all ready to go? Yeah, let's see what you can do. Sounds good. So it looks like we got good data from both machines. Yeah, we got plenty of G data here. You know, we're recording every 15 hundredths of a second here. So we got an immense amount of data. So it looks it's like it uh, kind of peaked out around 0.8 Gs and it got real jaggedy when it went down. That's right. Shift points and it stuff. It looks like shift points going through uh, to the quarter mile, but still significant amount of G force. Seems like it's pulling all the way down. And, uh, and what about the V-Box? Everything here looks perfect. All right, so no question, this thing is fast, but let's go check out the Tesla. Very good. Let's do it. All right, we're ready with the Tesla. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. We're in insane mode. We got uh, all the equipment hooked up. So let's see, uh, right. see what it does. Let her rip. Cool. Let's check out the data. So over here we have actually the acceleration force data and here's the times, speed, and distance. So time, speed, and distance looks a bit different, huh? Yeah, very quick off the line, already doing 30 miles an hour, 1.3 seconds into the run, which is incredibly fast. All right, so really keying into that right off the line, that really shows it. In 1.3 seconds, you already covered 30 feet. Yeah. Um, that's like right away. Okay, so here we are. The purple here is our Tesla, as we were just talking about, and in the red is our Hellcat. And like Jake, like you said, the Tesla instantly rockets past uh, 1G, wow. about three tenths of a second. But the Hellcat, like you uh, were looking at before, takes a long time for it to hook up and actually reach maximum Gs. Looks like about two and a half seconds. Okay, so I mean, it's still pulling hard, but to get to that maximum force that's pushing you back in that seat, took two and a half seconds, that Tesla was right away. And plus it's more too, right? When we're, we're having over a G and then where are we maxing out here? About 0.8 on the about Hellcat. About 0.8 on the Hellcat. Yeah. So I mean, the Hellcat is a fast car. The Tesla looks like an amusement park ride when I'm looking at this. Cause I mean, I mean, accelerating a G is, I mean, that's basically jumping off a cliff. That's yeah. free fall, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, instantaneous. Yeah. You're, you're accelerating 9.8 meters per second per second, I mean, whatever that number is, and that does it. When we first bought our Tesla P85D and tried out an insane mode, it was an experience that we never really had before. It was amazing, like a catapult. 
Now we really understand the science behind it. It's those acceleration g-forces. With about a quarter of a second, you're over a g. That is something that's not automotive. Watching this car really doesn't do it justice. It's something you have to experience. For more, check out consumerreports.org.